Hello everyone. Today we are going to make this jump monkey game. In this game, monkey has to eat all the bananas that are hanging on the right hand side of this palm tree. So monkey will jump and we will eat all the bananas in the fewest moves possible. The player or the user can control the direction of the monkey in which he will be jumping and also you can control the speed of the monkey. So let me show you by playing this game. Uh, I can change the direction by pressing the left and the right arrow keys. I can increase the launching speed uh, with the up and the down arrow keys and then I will start shooting with the space key and it hit with the palm tree that's why it came back. It means we have to change the direction a little bit. I am changing the direction and then I will also increase the speed maybe 11.5 and then I will try again. So now I will try a little bit to the right hand side by pressing the right arrow key and then I will press the space key. So now I have to eat the third banana. In the end, you will be told how many jumps you actually took to complete this game. You used 8 launches. So we have to collect all the bananas in minimum jumps. So let's start making the game. I have already set up the project for you. I have already selected the backdrop. The name of the backdrop is forest and all the sprites I have already selected monkey, arrow, banana and the tree one. So monkey here is a very big. So first step is to decrease the size of monkey. Let's try the size first here. 35, 35 I think is good. Maybe you, we can try 40 also. 40 is also fine, whichever you like. So set size to 40% or 35%. Then uh, let's go to the script of the arrow. First, let's fix its position. Whenever you start the game, its position will be this only. Go to this. We will make it to go to the front layer. Okay, so that it is always on the front side. And the beginning position of the monkey will also be the same. Go to X and Y. When you press the go button, now the arrow you can see on the front. When we press the left arrow key, the arrow should move to the left. Turn left one degree. Similarly, if I press the right arrow key, the arrow should turn one degree towards the right. Okay, it, it gives us the control to set the direction. Now in the monkey, we can also set the speed of the monkey. So for that, we will take a variable. Let's name it launching speed or launch speed. In the beginning, we will set the launch speed to five or some number and when you press the up arrow key, launch speed will increase. Change launch speed by 0.1. Okay. And similarly, when I press the down arrow key, launch change launch speed by minus 0.1. Uh, let's say you keep pressing the up arrow key. The launch speed should have a maximum limit. So we have to put, put a maximum limit. So there will be an if check. If launch speed is less than 20 or whatever the maximum limit is, only then the speed increases. I am keeping it maximum 20. So if the launch speed is less than 20, only then change the speed. So maximum speed is 20. Similarly, we will also put the check for the minimum also. Minimum launch speed can be only one. It cannot go below one. Let's start writing the script of the monkey. When we press the space key, the monkey will start jumping in the direction of the arrow. Okay. So 
first of all we have to set its direction because the direction that we are changing we are changing the direction of the arrow but we have not still changed the direction of the monkey point in direction so here it could be little bit tricky go into the sensing block here is an option where you can choose the variable of any other character direction of the arrow so it will point in the same direction even in which arrow is pointing uh, monkey will start moving so what what is going to be the moving speed that is going to be the launch speed okay so move launch speed steps and obviously it has to be some in, it has to be inside some loop so the loop will not be forever loop will be that unless it touches the wall or the edge okay so here there will be touching edge so keep moving until it touches the edge once it it touches the edge it comes back to its original position original position is minus 196 and minus 139 so we will do that only that's it now you might be wondering that uh, what is the purpose of this tree so basically this purpose is the obstacle if the monkey touches this tree then also it will come back we can put this condition in the or so one is touching edge another is touching palm tree so uh, not arrow one sorry the tree one let's try whether it is working or not right now you see that the monkey is actually tilting its rotation style we will set don't rotate monkey is moving in the straight line it is not following the parabolic path that is going to be the next step don't worry now let's write the script of banana so in the original game that i shown you there were three bananas so we will use the concept of the cloning here uh, we will make a variable uh, number of bananas okay so we will set number of bananas to three when green flag clicked and we will create the clone repeat num bananas let's say later you realize that you want to make four bananas all you have to do is you just have to change the number here everything should work as it is create clone of myself bananas will be hidden in the beginning and now let's write the script of the clone when you start the cloning script first thing will be that it comes on the screen back and as you know that the bananas should be on the right hand side of the palm tree so uh, if you see uh, the x coordinate of the banana can be 122 so it should not be less than 122 if it comes out to be less than 122 it will uh, collide with the palm tree go to here we will pick a random number between 123 to maximum it could be 224 so i will write 200 okay and similarly y can be anything let's uh, let's say the y can be 141 140 to minus 140 okay so pick random minus 140 to positive 140 when the monkey collides with the banana when the monkey touches the banana the banana should disappear right so uh, let's wait for the monkey to touch the banana wait until it touches the monkey once the monkey touches the banana number of banana variable will decrease by one so i will tell you why we are doing this change num bananas by minus one then if the number of bananas has become equal to zero it means the game is finished that's why we need this variable okay then we will broadcast a message broadcast message one and after that we, we can delete this clone basically because we don't need this clone now instead of hide it just delete it that's better we will paint a character for the game over game over let's write the script of the game over uh, sprite uh, 
uh, in the beginning it is going to be hidden this is again the same thing and when you receive the message one it will come on the screen we have not uh, written the script for the tree it is going to be very simple just fix its position go to this and in the this banana script we can make this uh, bananas of different size so when you start as a clone you can uh, add like this set size to and here it will be some random number from 50 to 100 percent uh, and also we can change the color a little bit if if you wish change color effect by maybe uh, 25 to 50 percent now you can see the bananas are of different size a little bit and they have a different color also now we are going to add the effect of gravity so to add the effect of gravity i am going to make two new variables one is the fall speed then another is the gravity so gravity represents basically the gravitational pull gravity always pulls things downward so the and it is constant also at a particular place so set gravity to minus 0.2 uh, we will set this fall speed to zero in the beginning and whenever you press the space key this set fall speed will also become zero again and see when the monkey is moving because of the gravity it uh, its y will also decrease so change y by fall speed and in the beginning fall speed is zero and the fall speed will also keeps on changing by gravity so the gravity will keep pulling the character down to make the game more interesting we will add the sound effect so when the monkey is jumping it will uh, make a sound start sound and uh, here similarly when the monkey eats the banana which is here uh, we will play the sound of bite Oink. Oink. we have to keep track of the number of jumps okay in that in how many jumps the player finished the game so we will have a variable jumps so initially this jumps will be zero and when you press the space key this variable will increase and in the end when the game over message is shown uh, we can also display that how many jumps user actually took to complete the game so i will just update this message game over below there will be a message you used these many jumps so i have uh, kept this space empty we will place this variable jumps here okay and if you right click on this variable you can actually make it large readout or normal readout if you make it norm a uh, large readout it will come out to be like this in the beginning we can hide this variable hide variable jump and when this game over message comes this jumps variable also be shown on the screen so you see right now this jumps variable is nowhere on the screen when the game will be over the game over message will come on the screen along with the variable jumps okay so let's try the game Oink. 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 you used four jumps one problem with this game is that even the game is over you can still play with the arrow and the monkey for example you see i can change the direction of the arrow even i can make the monkey jump even i can increase the launch speed 
so ideally when the game is over all these things should not be allowed we are going to hide everything once the game is over so in the bananas uh, code when you are broadcasting message one just just receive it here and hide it similarly in the monkey also and also we can hide all the variables since we have hidden everything just show all the variables that we have just hidden and show the character as well similarly in the arrow as well just in the beginning when the green flag is clicked uh, make the character appear on the screen by using the show block it completes our game if you want to uh, do few more things in the game you can definitely do suggestions are there in the description box please check that and i hope you like the video if you like the video please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel and also you can always ask your queries in the comment section i would love to answer your queries thank you bye bye see you in the next video